The Spongebob parody mod came out a while back and people have been asking me to explain each of the different Spongebob parodies in this mod. So let's go ahead and jump into it. The first parody that we see in the Spongebob mob is actually We Gotta Get Spongebob Back. And this one is actually a fan made episode by a YouTuber named Joe. And as the name suggests, in this episode, Spongebob actually disappears and Squidward doesn't know why, but he knows that he needs to find him. Now what's interesting about this is that Squidward initially seems to be okay with Spongebob missing, but then all of a sudden he just starts to panic and knows that he needs to find Spongebob. In animation we actually see him run to a 7-Eleven where he punches a cashier and tells him to give him all the money in the cash register while wielding a pistol. If you look in the Friday Night Funkin' Mod you can actually see him holding a pistol in his hand even though in the mod it kind of looks like a vape or a cigarette or something. Next we see Squidward steal an ambulance and go around Bikini Bottom basically getting on the microphone and telling everybody that we need to find Spongebob. He even manages to get Sandy, Mr. Krabs, and Patrick to help him in this adventure. And when they go to Spongebob's house to actually find him, they see a blanket is covering what seems to look like Spongebob's body, but when they take the blanket off, it reveals a portal in the floor. This portal teleports them to a place called Bikini Auto, where funny enough, Mr. Krabs tells Squidward not to look back, and of course Squidward looks back. And this causes Sandy, Mr. Krabs, and Patrick to be turned into sand statues, where they immediately are blown away. Squidward starts to freak out at this point, and this is where we're introduced to these two black floating spears that seem to be having water pouring out of them. And then they turn into eyes of a giant crying Spongebob, and that's actually what we see here in the mod. Spongebob then picks up a giant spatula and goes after Squidward. And this explains why we see those floating spatulas in the mod. Eventually Spongebob catches Squidward and he pins him down with the spatula, basically burning him just like a Krabby Patty. Some time passes and Squidward is back at the Krusty Krab again and he's demanding a Krabby Patty for a customer. This is when he realizes that the Krabby Patty is actually sitting at the server window, but the customer has already left. He puts the burger down on the floor for rats to enjoy and this is where we actually see Plankton come. Plankton opens up the Krabby Patty to see if he can figure out what the secret formula is, but what he actually sees is Squidward's face. This is when Plankton takes a thumbtack and literally stabs himself in the eye, unaliving himself. And this is how this video ends. Now, some people like to speculate that this was all just a dream that Squidward was having, but regardless, it is definitely a weird parody. The next character on our list is going to be SpongeBob Sick Pants, and this character actually originated on Newgrounds. And the series is basically focused on SpongeBob and Patrick's life. However, the videos seem to be trying to be as crude as possible. The videos have a lot of hidden phallic shaped objects. We can even see that in the Friday Night Funkin' Mod and Boyfriend's Down Pose. If you know, you know. There's also a lot of adult themed content and just gore and vomiting for some reason. In the episode that I was watching, we get to see sharks actually eat some of the fish in Bikini Bottom and also Patrick and SpongeBob. We get to see Sandy actually overdoses, it seems. And SpongeBob literally attacks another patron walking down the streets and just consumes him right there. Now, there's also some backstory as to why boyfriend and girlfriend are down here and how they're able to breathe underwater, but it is super weird, so buckle up. So basically one day boyfriend and girlfriend was at the beach and boyfriend goes into the water even though he can't swim. Now I suppose that he assumed that girlfriend was going to save him if he got into trouble but it turns out that girlfriend's actually a scumbag in this mod and she wanted boyfriend to die the whole time so she allowed him to drown. The reason that she lets him drown is because she found a new boyfriend that she thought would be better than boyfriend. Now funny enough when boyfriend gets to the bottom of the ocean he actually finds some radioactive waste that transforms him into this version of himself called sick boyfriend and because of this toxin apparently now he's able to swim and also breathe underwater now since he's very angry with girlfriend and how she did him he goes back to the surface and he waits for her to be sitting in her bed reading and he attacks her he basically bops her over the head with his microphone which is why in the mod you can see that it's broken and that it has blood stains on it and he basically bops her until she is no longer living boyfriend then takes her down to the ocean back to the toxic waste that basically gave him his abilities and it turns girlfriend into this zombie like creature. This parody is definitely one of the darkest and grossest ones on this list. The next parody on our list is going to be Bob Sponge and this one is interesting because it shows Mr. Crab and Spongebob having a discussion where it seems like Mr. Crab is trying to get Spongebob to do something that involves him wearing a dress and a bunch of makeup. And Spongebob makes it clear that he's not comfortable with this because it seems to be some type of trafficking. 
And then from there, it seems like Mr. Krab just goes on a little mini rampage because when Patrick walks into the animation, Mr. Krab literally chops off his head. And then we see Plankton walks in and Mr. Krab literally eats him. And then out of nowhere, we see that he's wearing Squidward's face. In actual Friday Night Funkin' Mod, we see that Squidward's face is actually replaced with Boyfriend, which implies that in this mod, Mr. Krab takes out Boyfriend. Don't ask me why Girlfriend seems so peaceful about this. I guess the one good thing about this animation is at the end, Mr. Krab is arrested. The next parody that we have on our list is called Spongebob's Revenge, and this one is interesting because it deals with Patrick basically being rejected by Spongebob. Patrick calls up Spongebob to see if he wants to go jellyfishing, and Spongebob basically tells Patrick to go to hell because he's busy. Now Patrick doesn't like this, so he decides that he's going to unalive Spongebob, and he even recruits Squidward to help him do it. But when they get to his house, they actually get into a fight about who gets to shoot him first, and I mean literally a fight. They start to slap each other for some reason. This of course leads Patrick to unalive Squidward with a shotgun, and before he's able to go ahead and take out Spongebob, Spongebob pulls out a pistol and unalives Patrick. This is also why in the mod we get to see Spongebob is wielding a gun, and a lot of people have been interested in this white glob as you get to play as in this song. And this figure is basically a reference to the chicken that pops up at the end of the animation after Spongebob unalives Patrick. You'll also notice that the chicken figure has a mohawk just like this one and he also has the same type of art style meaning the stick figure legs and also the stick figure arms. The next parody on our list is going to be Pam Tree Spongebob. The backstory for this one goes as follows. Squidward is getting ready for bed and he thinks it's going to be a peaceful night because Spongebob and Patrick are supposed to be out camping. Squidward soon learns that Spongebob and Patrick are camping but they're doing it right outside Spongebob's house meaning that he can hear everything they're saying and they are being super loud. Squidward goes out to see what the two of them are doing and he ends up actually joining them on their camping trip. Now Spongebob and Patrick starts to sing and Squidward wants to show them what real music is so of course he starts to play his clarinet. Spongebob basically tells him that he can't play that out here because he'll attract sea bears. Squidward wants to prove Spongebob wrong so of course he plays his clarinet even louder and that's when the sea bear aka Santiago rises from the ground and consumes Squidward. The animation ends with Squidward playing his clarinet in this black void. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with Pam Tree's videos you probably don't know who Santiago is. It's basically just one of the main people that appears in a lot of his videos. He's supposed to be like the main villain and he has this ability to cross over to multiple dimensions and interact with people. And it seems that Spongebob characters are usually his favorite victims, but I wouldn't take his character too seriously. I think he's just meant to be kind of funny. The next parody on our list is going to be Sponge Bong Hemp Pants. This series has three episodes thus far and it's appeared on YouTube, Metacafe, and Daily Motion. Now this version of Spongebob is definitely a stoner and I think that's part of the reasons why he's actually green. And he seems to spend most of his time with his best friend Hashbrick, smoking seaweed or taking sea mushrooms. In the animation, they're so addicted to taking these drugs that they'll even steal in order to pay for their addiction. And it seems that the only other thing they really do is play video games, specifically Tony Hawk. One thing that I find interesting about this song is that for whatever reason, Boyfriend seems to be holding a needle, which implies that he is doing some much harder drugs than weed and mushrooms. But as far as I know, there's not really any backstory that goes along with that. Maybe the developer just wanted to show that Boyfriend was also a drug addict, just like this version of Spongebob. The next parody had a lot of controversy around it because even though it did garner a lot of views and it was posted, a lot of people felt that it was racist and even the original creators have kind of addressed it. This Spongebob is called Spongebob in China and while they did make it with the eyes and a stereotypical accent, they did do it with a good purpose at heart. This parody was basically made in order to address issues that were happening in China that revolved around censorship, labor laws, and American consumerism. The original video basically went viral, garnering around 80 million views. The video actually got so popular that the Chinese government demanded that Boom Chicago, who are the creators of the animation, take the video down. And of course, Boom Chicago declined this, saying that it was their own freedom and their right to be able to make these animations and to get these matches out there. This next parody is actually Robot Chicken Spongebob, and this one is interesting because this is when Spongebob finally figures out how Krabby Patties are made, and more importantly, what's actually in the Krabby Patties. Now in actual animation, Spongebob comes out with a whole carton full of crab pieces, and Spongebob is upset with Mr. Krabs because Mr. Krabs is basically making these people eat their own kind. And not only do we figure out what the Krabby Patties are made of, but we realize that he's using real tuna in a tuna salad, and we see that Squidward is in the background of this animation eating calamari, and he figures out that that is made of squid. 
This is basically a super dark parody that deals with cannibalism. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this one where I cover the Mistful Crimson Morning mod, or check out this video where I cover all the scrap characters in the Sonic mod. Thanks for watching. This is Zorse, of course. Peace, peace.